How many of you ladies have a husband that snores? Raise your arm, I wanna help you out. What are you looking at? Yeah, well, yeah, no, don't do that. Though. Don't be scared. Oh, your wife is on. That's not your wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ladies, admit it. If your husband sore, say something. I have an aunt who died from secondhand sleep apnea. <laughs> it will kill you. Men don't admit it. No, I don't snore. And like, hey, 200 likes on Facebook. I taped you last night. <laughs> Men don't understand that this woman they married was one day going, oh, I would love to marry a prince. And we're not gonna sleep at night anymore. We're gonna catch up and talk and talk and listen to music. And then you get married, wedding night at midnight, he's <laughs> But you're still madly in love. You go, oh, my honey needs oxygen. <laughs> Tilt your head, honey bun, you're making little noises. Two years later, you still have not slept since wedding night. <laughs> He's still <laughs> But now your attitude have changed. You look at him, look up and say, just take him. <laughs> Moses killed an Egyptian and you forgave him. <laughs> Let's just call it a pillow fight that went wrong. Ah! <laughs> Five years later, you no longer sleep in bed next to him. You're just standing there staring at him. I don't respect you. <laughs> Look at you, you oxygen hog. <laughs> you suck the roof when you inhale. And you start reading him like a dog. Roll over, roll over. He goes, whoa, 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 lay down. 10 years later, he has the machine now. <laughs> Go, I should have listened to my mother. She knew something was wrong with him. 15 years later, he's older, drooling, hair on the throat like, <laughs> just go, here's your sacrifice, just take him, I'm done. Send me to India, I'll do any work, just. What does he sound like? Bad? Some of them sound like a Harley Davidson that needs tune up. They'll be. <laughs> Honey, put a neutral, I'm trying to sleep. Some sound like a lion facing a hummingbird, they'll be. Some of them scare you, they'll be <gasps> Wake up, we have a mortgage, wake up. <laughs> not in this economy, you're not leaving. Good one. I don't know why I don't serve from the Middle East with like Jewish people, which not when we talk. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and my wife doesn't snore either. So we hear every noise that happens downstairs. We have a fridge that waits for us, I know it. <laughs> to go to bed and the ice cubes will go Bruh! And my wife would go, what was that? I go, I don't know. I get scared too, you know what I mean? <laughs> she goes, go down and check. It's your turn, I went the last time. <laughs> but you're the man, what if it's a female burger? One time I was doing the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, Tennessee, home of country music, God bless America. <laughs> and after the show, they gave me this suite at the Opryland, B2, big beds. Forgot to book a room for my road manager and the crew. And I go to the road manager, I said, hey, I have an extra bed. He goes, no, you're the artist. I'm like, oh, come on. So he's older, he's sleeping, I'm sleeping. I wake up to hear someone cutting a tree <laughs> and eating Doritos at the same time. <laughs> like, <laughs> All night. So I put my headphones on, I put it on Drake and rap. It's the loudest thing I could come up with. It didn't help, it was like. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, just killed it. So, so I took my pillow, I said, I'm gonna choke him a little bit. So I get close to him, he started dreaming out loud. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> Run to the car, start the car, the car won't start. I wanted to choke him, but I wanted to hear the end of the story. I'm Nazareth, thank you so much for allowing uh, to be here with you. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now and watch. Save and share clips.
And watch my whole special too.